Japanese international defender Takehiro Tomiyasu wants to join Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and a decision will be made very soon. Tottenham defender uh, Matt Doherty has stated that Nuno Espirito Santo is a world-class manager and he has nothing but praise for him. Giovanni Lo Celso has just won the Copa America with Argentina and today is the day Harry Kane leads England into the Euro 2020 final. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start today's video with an update on the possible signing of Takahiro Tomiyasu from Bologna. Fabrizio Romano, the Italian journalist, provided an update of this morning on a tweet. And it states, Tottenham are currently the only English club negotiating to sign Takahiro Tomiyasu. Talks ongoing with Bologna. Atalanta want him too, but Spurs are leading the race. Tomiyasu wants to join Tottenham. Final decision soon. Arsenal are not in the race as of now. Now, my opinion on this, I said on a video a couple of days ago, I hope that Tottenham do get this deal done because Tommy Asu can play as a centre-back. He is also a very decent right-back and has been known to play all across the defence. So he's a versatile defender who could do a good job for Spurs. But the uh, obviously, the money has got to be right and negotiations are ongoing. But when I spoke to Fabrizio Romano on this channel the other day, he seemed very confident that this would be Tottenham's first summer signing. And now, so do I. Um, Atalanta, um, you know, Fabrizio Romano said, if Atalanta are looking at players, you know, they scout very, very well and they only look at the best players. So they want him too, but he does want to come to the Premier League, which is a huge bonus for Tottenham. So I'm hoping Tottenham get this deal done very soon. Many congratulations to Tottenham midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso. He has just won the Copa America final with Argentina as they beat Brazil 1-0 in the early hours of this morning. Uh, Dia Maria got the only goal of the game after 22 minutes. Giovanni Lo Celso played the first 63 minutes of the game and then was subbed off. But can you believe it is Messi's first trophy with his country, Argentina, at the age of 34? Tottenham Hotspur defender Matt Doherty has been talking out about his relationship with new boss Nuno Espirito Santo and of course they have worked together at Wolves. He said obviously we worked together and there were a few familiar faces when I got back with his coaching staff. We had quite a good relationship and a successful time at Wolves getting into Europe and finishing high and getting promoted. I know the way that he works, he knows the way that I work, and he's a very good on-field coach. As I said over the years, I've got nothing but praise for him. He's a world-class coach, and his backroom staff are world-class, and I maintain that. Matt Doherty has also come out and said that he underperformed last season. He said, I underperformed, I realise that, but I'm trying to get back into pre-season, get my form and get my fitness and confidence going, and be ready for the first game of the season. He then added, I just can't wait for next season to start. You just can't beat playing football. You get all the time off in the summer to do whatever you want, but there's no better feeling than putting your boots on and getting onto the grass and playing. Now, my opinion on this, um, there's absolutely no doubt that Matt Doherty underperformed last season under Jose Mourinho. Uh, we expected a lot more from him, particularly after his performances at, at Wolves. You know, some people were very excited about having Matt Doherty as a signing, uh, you know, having seen him play for Wolves and score many goals and create many chances uh, for Wolverhampton Wanderers. But I think that if there's any player in the Tottenham Hotspur camp who is absolutely delighted with the arrival of Nuno Espirito Santo, it is Matt Doherty. Because as he said in his interview with Tottenham Hotspur, um, Nuno knows how he plays. He knows exactly what is expected of him on the pitch. So, you know, this could be a new lease of life for Matt Doherty. We could probably see him play a lot more games next season under Nuno in Nuno's system. So I think that... Matt Doherty will be absolutely delighted with Nuno's arrival. 
A report has been published by the Sun newspaper and they are stating that Chelsea are expected to launch George Conde transfer bid as £69 million rated Sevilla star not keen on Tottenham move. It then states that the 22-year-old has been heavily linked with a move to Spurs over recent weeks and Premier League side Manchester City also had a bid of £47 million rejected by the La Liga club, leading the Spanish outfit to insist he will not be leaving for anything less than £69 million. Later on in this report, it says it remains to be seen whether Chelsea or Spurs will be able to get this deal over the line in the coming weeks. Now, my opinion on this is that the Premier League starts for Spurs in exactly five weeks' time when we play Manchester City. Now, five weeks, we have got an awful lot to do, and I've said this many times on this channel, on these videos. Um, five weeks, a lot to do. So many players to go out the door and so many new players to come in. I just feel so much more comfortable when we start hearing the announcements of Tottenham Hotspur can confirm the signing of X, Y and Z. You know, I really will feel more comfortable. Certainly defensive reinforcements like this. Will Tottenham go out and spend £69 million on the defender? I doubt it. And lastly, the day is here, the 11th of July 2021, the Euro 2020 final to be played at Wembley Stadium. England will take on Italy, 8pm kickoff. The game is live on BBC One, it is also live on ITV. Now, is it coming home? England haven't got a trophy in 55 years. Of course, the last trophy that England won was the World Cup in 1966. 55 very, very long years. Um, we've never been in a Euro final. We have never won the Euro Championships. This could be history in the making tonight if England can do it. Of course, Harry Kane captains England um, in this game. He is in fine form, uh, you know, scoring in his last few games. That Denmark semi-final was just simply sensational. I was lucky enough to be there and the atmosphere that day, I'm sure that the England fans will take that into today's final and hopefully England can get over the line. But Italy... The last time that they lost a game was back in September 2018. Unbelievable record. Unbelievable. So England really do need to be on top of their game to bring it home. Anyway, let me know your score predictions in the comment section below. I haven't decided mine yet. I think it's going to be a very, very tight game. But I'm hoping England can get the job done. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to this channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and hoping England can do the job later at Wembley Stadium against Italy in the Euro 2020 final. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, England.